A distress call should be transmitted if, in the opinion of the master, the ship or a person is in distress and requires immediate assistance. Have you ever wondered what will happen after pressing the digital selective calling distress button? Do your family or crew know exactly how to use the radio to make a distress call if something happens to you? I don't know about you, but the thought of having to make a distress call on a marine radio without practicing in advance literally distressed me. It distressed me to the point that I decided to build an online marine radio simulator to actually understand and practice what to do in a distress situation. Now I feel more confident that I know what to expect and what to do if I have to make a real distress call. I'm sharing my simulator with you so that you and your crewmates are better prepared if you are called upon to make such a call. We all know that the more prepared we are, the better we will be able to communicate over the radio and the sooner others can come to our assistance. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the procedures for making a simple distress call using digital selective calling on an ICOM M506 VHF radio. The first step is to always have your VHF radio on before heading out on the water. And adjust your volume and squelch so that you can hear other traffic calling on the radio. The radio is now ready for calling and receiving calls on channel 16. Now let's imagine your vessel is in distress and requires immediate assistance. While lifting the key cover, hold down distress for three seconds to transmit the distress call. While holding down distress, count down beep sound and both the key and display backlighting blink. DSC channel 70 is automatically selected and the distress call is transmitted. The distress call is automatically transmitted every three to five minutes until an acknowledgement is received or a DSC cancel call is made. Push resend to manually transmit the distress repeat call. Push the right key and then push info to display the transmitted distress call information. A distress alert default contains your MMSI number, nature of distress, and position information. After transmitting the call, the transceiver waits for an acknowledgement call. Let's direct the simulator to send an acknowledgement call. After receiving the acknowledgement, push alarm off, then reply using the microphone. Since there is no voice communication on channel 70, and recognizing that not all vessels are equipped with DSC, once the distress call is issued on channel 70 by pressing the red distress button, you should issue a verbal mayday call. The M506 radio will automatically switch to channel 16 after using the distress button. The distress message should comprise of the distress signal mayday, the name of the vessel in distress, particulars of its position as accurately as possible, nature of distress and kinds of assistance required, a description of the vessel in distress, the number of persons on board and injuries if applicable, any other information which might facilitate rescue such as preparing to abandon ship with life jackets, the name of the vessel, and the word over. Thanks for watching. If you thought this video was helpful, please like us and share with your friends. It might save someone's life on the water. To access a simulator, contact your boating squadron, school, or association, or contact me at sailorbob at outlook.com. See you on the water.